Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to make YouTube outros in Explandio 3.0. I'm creating this tutorial on request from one of my subscribers. Hey Prashant. So here is a basic example of a YouTube outro that I created. And I'll show you how to create this one. So here we are in EVC 3.0 with a project file already open. So let's start by creating a new scene. I'll click this button right here. And click create scene. On this blank canvas, I will start by adding a text box. So I'll click this add text button at the bottom. I'll change the text. And I'll also change the font to alpha slab 1. Uh, next, I'll increase the font size by using these handles. Now, for alignment purposes, I like to use a grid that I created myself. And you can check the description section to download this grid. So, I'll click on the paper button right here. And this is the grid. I'll click Add Image. And I'll just adjust the placement of the text. So next in the timeline, I will use uh, the duplicate button right here to duplicate this text. So here it is. And I'll change this text. Now let's add some animation to these text boxes. So I'll just drop down these arrows right here in the timeline. And I'm going to use the zoom in bounce animation for both. I'll just click right here and then go to text by letter and then zoom in bounce. And I'll do the same for the other one. So let me just move this scene right up front. Next, I'm going to add an out animation to both. So for the first one, I'm going to add hide up. And for the second one, I'm going to add hide down. Let's close the canvas to see how the animation looks. I'll just click this close canvas button right at the bottom. And that's how the animation looks like. Let's take a quick preview. So that's not too bad. Uh, next, let's open the canvas and add the images. I'll click this Open Canvas button. I'll first add the two thumbnail images. And I'll use the Add Bitmap Image button down below. And then I'll choose Add Image from Local Storage. And next, I'll just choose the image. I'll check this box to not sketch it and then click Add. I'll just resize the image. And then I'll add the other thumbnail as well. Next, I'll apply the zoom in animation to both the thumbnails. Let me just drop this down. And I'm just going to move these down here. So the text is up. Next, we'll just close the canvas to see how it animates. And as you can see, it all animates together. So I'm going to move the animations for the two thumbnails a little bit later. Let's take a quick preview. So that looks pretty good. Next, let's add the three buttons. I'll open the canvas once again. Again, I'll click the Add Bitmap Image button. And use the same process like I showed you earlier. So I'll just resize it and I'll place it down. 
Next, let's add a zoom in bounce animation to this button. And then I'll move the bar so it animates later, like so. Next, let's add the other two buttons using the same process. And finally, let's add the animations to these buttons. So I'll add the zoom in for both. And finally, I'll move both those bars in line with the subscribe button. Let's close the canvas. And let's take a quick preview. So that looks pretty good. I'll open the canvas once again to remove the grid. Now let's close the canvas once again and add a background. So under the Scene tab, you can add an image or a video background. So I'll add an image background. Let's take a final preview. So there you have it. Hopefully this helps you create your own outros. Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. You'll find many more explained your tutorials on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check in. And if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.